It's Friday, so it must be time for another update from the North Carolina Medical Society. This is our last legislative briefing, and we've got a special guest joining us this week, Bob Selickson, our executive director and CEO. Uh, one quick update from this week. Uh, in the end, the last bill that came through, Senate Bill 119, included a couple of different provisions that were great for us. Uh, but one that I really want to highlight, you'll see much more details in our legislative summary in weeks to come, but that one that I want to highlight is an administrative change for recredentialing in Medicaid from three years to five years. So now instead of having to recredential and pay your $100 fee to be a Medicaid provider every three years, you'll only have to do that every five years. Uh, small change, but we think a significant change and one that's been very important and asked for by our members for years, so we're happy to be able to deliver that uh, in the waning hours of the legislative session. Uh, Bob, do you want to comment a little sure. bit about this? Um, sure. Yeah, indeed. I, I think, first of all, I want to thank you for the extraordinary work that you performed this past session. I'm glad you finally got a little sleep and could spend a little time with your family because you put an uh, incredible amount of time into it. I want to thank the members uh, for, for their individual and collective actions in, in calling legislators and helping support our initiatives and what we try to do it in providing the provider and payer, uh, patient protections. And thank the county medical societies and specialty societies for their efforts. In, in helping us uh, with this, this important legislation. I want to emphasize, too, that this is just the beginning, the first step of, of, of a long process of several years that it will take to actually implement the new Medicaid program, and there's still a lot of work for us to do to make sure it's done right and to make sure we put physicians at the, at the forefront of all the changes and to ensure that the patient protections and the provider protections that we have put into that bill and, wanna, and, and additional provisions that we hope to put in in, in future sessions will help make the program very physician-driven to provide good quality care to our citizens. So a lot more work ahead, a lot more to come. Uh, we've talked a little bit in past weeks about how we're going to continue to stay in communication with you to invite you to be a part of that process as we move forward. So we look forward to doing that in weeks to come. Also, I'll remind you that the next time we're going to get together and really talk about things in person is October 23rd and 24th at our annual meeting. So we look forward to seeing you in Greensboro and catching up with you again. Uh, congratulations on a session uh, over and done. Thank you to everybody on the team. Uh, for being uh, such strong supporters, and we look forward to talking to you again soon.